to what extent do you expect the new ways of working that came about in response to the pandemic, such as, but not only, remote working, will become a permanent part of how your company operates? It'll be permanent. I don't see anyone coming back to the office five days a week, uh, certainly not those that I've spoken to. And it varies slightly by region. I think certainly in the Australian business, we can expect people to bookend their week and potentially come in Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, but choose to work from home on Mondays and Fridays. In other parts of the region, it's a little different in places where people don't necessarily enjoy uh, the luxuries of real estate like we would living in Australia. They would choose to come into the office potentially five days a week. Uh, although even then be far more selective about when during the day they come in. So they'll adjust commute times. I already see people starting to adjust their days based on children's drop off or pick up. It'll be fascinating to see how it plays out but early indications are that we will absolutely not be going back to a normal five day working week. And how much do you feel that your leadership style and your company's culture has become more inclusive over this pandemic period? My experience was having been onboarded into you know, the second most valuable software company on the planet by market cap and not having met anyone in my leadership team for nine months. To win hearts and minds of a big organisation across many geographies and all from my home office uh, was incredibly difficult in one respect but made easier because everyone else was going through exactly the same thing and so what we had to do is develop trust instantly where normally you would operate on the basis of trust being earned over three six nine twelve months we had to come into this on the basis that we all trust each other enough that We'll have trust as the foundation, and then if there's a problem, uh, then we'll talk about it. Um, but on the personal side, I mean, empathy has to come through. That will be a long-lasting value that I think many leaders have had no choice but to over-index on. Because the impact of this has been quite varied. We've got, in our business, a strong population of younger uh, people who really thrive on the social aspect of being in the office. And it might not just be in the office, maybe it's Friday afternoon drinks, but that collaboration and that interaction is really important to them. There are people that are in shared housing, and so for them to have separation between home and office is really important. And so on the other side, you've got people that, to the contrary, have enjoyed working from home because they don't waste time commuting. Uh, they get to be home for dinner and they get to spend more time with their family. So it's a, it's a mixed bag, uh, Graham, but I think in terms of you know, those personal values, I, th I absolutely see empathy and that more humanistic approach to leadership uh, coming through, and that will last. That, that's here to stay, which I think is a good thing. And do you feel like the company has the strengths and other attributes and obviously the investment to succeed in the future through this new normal? It does, although you know, despite who we are, we're still learning like everyone else. We don't have all of the answers yet, uh, but we certainly have strength in our business model and flexibility in our business model, such that working from home didn't dent productivity. Uh, but remember, this is only 12 months of history. Uh, that could all change pretty quickly and work from home whilst we think we've broken the back of the pandemic in places like Australia and Singapore, uh, we're nowhere near seeing the end of it in other places in APAC, which are representative of a big portion of our business, you know, places like India, for example, that are in a world of pain still. So we're still learning, but absolutely, you know, Adobe has the prerequisite components to A, have got us to this point, and if we need to, you know, see this out for as long as, it, as we need to. We've all learned new things about ourselves, our teams, we're doing things differently on the home front, on the work front. So what trait, learning or new habit that you've developed during this pandemic period are you wanting to take forward beyond? Well, it'll come as no surprise because I think every leader is aligned to this and that is uh, video call fatigue. Uh, I, what I've certainly learned to do and given myself license to do 
is to dramatically cut down the number of video calls that I do and to be really selective about which meetings I actually take. I think the interesting thing with that is even when I do go back to the office, I'm now back two days a week, uh, that will grow to three by next quarter. Even when I do go back to the office, I'll be far more selective. So as difficult as this has been, we will certainly be far more measured and considered in how we spend our time. And again, I think that's a good thing. You know, there's only goodness to come from a productivity standpoint in, in being more selective.